Gamma shows us a way to stay safe during spring break. And there's a castle contest on campus. Stay tuned. Troy Troy Division News starts now. Edition Production Center of Troy University's broadcast and digital network and Troy campuses around the world. This is Troy Trojan Vision News. Hello and welcome to Troy Trojan Vision News for March 4th, 2015. I'm Sarah Singletary. And I'm Angel Norris. Thank you for joining us this evening. Troy University's Student Government Association is helping live up Troy's mission as an international university by last night approving a measure that will allow a dedicated representative for international students in the Student Senate. Tiffany McGrath explains. On Tuesday night, Troy's Student Government Association voted to add an international seat to its Senate. This vote will, uh, it will establish a, a seat for international students and it'll bridge a lot of cultural gaps and misunderstandings between American students and international students. And with that, the, the international students can take these ideas back to their countries and share them with their families, with their countrymen, and ultimately it just, it serves a greater purpose. Supporters of the additional seat say it was crucial to give a voice to a group that represents a large portion of Troy's student body. I couldn't be happier about the vote. Honestly, I can't, I can't say the importance and the, how imperative it is for us to have uh, a big part of the population that we have here on campus represented in the SJA because the SJA is a student government body. And so uh, the fact that a big part of the student body isn't being represented now was something that I couldn't stand by. So seeing us finally be representative is, is an amazing piece. And I think that it finally will make a good uh, addition to Troy University. And one of the students who will be represented by the new seat says she sees this as a step in the right direction for the SGA. Well, looking down five years from now, I can see a more diverse university in the sense that we'll be able to have a say in, in the food, in the culture, in the academics of what's going on in the university to better the progress of this university. So having an international flavor to it is definitely something wonderful. The new international seat will be voted on in the Senate elections later this semester. Tiffany McGrath, Troy, Trojan Vision News. The new international seat will go into effect starting next school year. Troy University student organizations put their creativity to the test today as a way to help feed the hungry in the Pike County area. Samantha Cocan explains. Troy University's Office of Service Learning and Civic Engagement hosted its fourth annual Can Castle Contest, where 15 different organizations competed against each other to see who could build the best Can Castle. Now, this is our fourth annual Can Castle Contest, where different student organizations, fraternities, and sororities are competing against each other to build the best can castle. Organizations have been collecting cans over the past few weeks. The cans that are used for the can castle contest are then donated to local food banks in the Pike County area. I think it's important for students to get involved because they can just give back to the community. It's a fun activity for them to do just within collecting the cans and getting to build the castle, but also all the cans are going to food banks and so it's just a good way for Troy students to be involved within Pike County. We need to donate to the Salvation Army, the Christian Mission Center, the Head Start Program, the Christian Love Center, um, and St. Mark's Episcopal Church's food bank. 27% of the population in Troy lives below the poverty line and roughly 34% of children live below that same line. Studies show that poverty is more detrimental than once thought. The poverty is linked to health issues, education issues, economic attainment issues, things of that nature. And I think it's important to do whatever you can to uh, try to make a difference uh, in that regard. Samantha Cocan, Troy, Trojan Vision News. Organizers say over 3,000 canned goods were collected in the contest. The items collected will be distributed to local agencies and food banks. Many Troy University students will hit the road for spring break starting this Friday, and the Troy University Student Organization is hoping students will use some technology to keep themselves safe during their trips. Tomorrow morning, Greeks advocating the ma mature management of alcohol or gamma will show off some apps designed to help spring break, help keep spring break a little safer. On Thursday, we're going to have, there's an app for that. There's an app for that is where there's going to be um, a forum where students can pick from all these different apps on how to be safe during spring break. Hey, let's say one of your friends drinks too long, that's your designated driver. Okay, well, there's going to be an app to show you how you can hail a safe taxi.
And we'll show off the apps tomorrow from 11 to 2. Troy Spring Break starts when class ends on Friday. And now taking a look at news from around the state. Alabama probate judges must again decide whether to issue wedding licenses to gay couples. This time it's not in response to declarations from the state's chief justice, but from a group of peers. A six-member majority of the nine-member Alabama Supreme Court ruled ye late yesterday that the state's ban on same-sex marriage is legal, despite a federal court's decision on the contrary. And Governor, Governor Robert Bentley says Alabama can no longer ignore a budget crisis and ask lawmakers to help him to approve a major tax increase. The second-term Republican used his State of the Senate address last night to make his case to legislators for a $541 million tax increase this legislative session. And forecasters say a freezing rain is expected in parts of northern Alabama by late today, bringing the potential for up to a quarter of an inch of ice. The National Weather Service says widespread precipitation in the forecast is ahead for, with a strong cold front moving across northern Alabama. Still to come on Troy Troy Division News, the softball team hosted Georgia Tech and went into extra innings. Find out how the game ended when Amy Austin joins us in sports. And a Congress is still out talking about the Affordable Care Act. Find out why. Stay with us. President Obama's health care law is back before the Supreme Court. This time, a key phrase could determine the cost of coverage for millions of Americans. I'm Craig Boswell at the Supreme Court. That's coming up. <laughs> Mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner yeah. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. This is Dr. Daniel Smith. He's an expert in domestic and international economics. But his proudest achievement is connecting with his students and helping them accomplish more than they ever thought possible. That's the warrior spirit and it's alive and well at Troy University. Feel it at troy.edu slash spirit. Now, the latest in Trojan sports on Troy Trojan Vision News. The softball team hosted Georgia Tech last night, and both teams gave the fans some extra softball as the game went into extra innings. Khadijah Torbert has all the details. The Troy softball team goes 11 innings against Georgia Tech for the victory Tuesday night with Amanda Winters with her third walk-off of the season. There's really no explanation. I mean, we, our team knows how to fight, and we fought to the very end. The last pitch, we were all just fighting. So. Well, I knew JC was on the mound throwing her heart out, and I didn't want to disappoint her, so I just came out with the best guy I had for her. Coach Mullins has one word for the actions her team displayed throughout that game. Just fight. I mean, our girls have a lot of fight in them. It wasn't pretty at all times, but our pitching staff did a tremendous job to keep us in that ball game, and our hitters fought despite the fact they had not had a lot of success. And I think just the fight that we showed um, is a testament to our kids. The Trojans fall back from being down three runs and scored three of their own in the bottom of the six. Coach Mullen says they are never out of the fight and commends Amanda on trusting herself and fighting through. And then Amanda Winters, she did not have a great game at the beginning, but she fought her way and she trusted herself and she, she got a reward for it. We, we try to talk a lot about the late innings or our innings, and so we're never out of the fight. And again, I, I have to give credit to our pitching staff and our defense. They kept, kept us within reach of that game, and when we're within reach, we, can, we have a lot of fight in us, and the late innings were our innings, and I could not be more proud of just the fight, again, that our girls had. Not only did this game give the team momentum, but it also gave them a positive outlook for the upcoming conference play. Well, I'm extremely excited. I think this gives us momentum into this weekend so we can start conference and just get ready to go. Khadija Torbert, Troy, Trojan Vision Sports. The Trojans will now prepare for their first conference games. Troy will take on Georgia State on Saturday at noon. The baseball team took on Alabama State on the Hornets' home turf and battled it out to the finish. The Trojans fell to Alabama State 12-8 after the lead changed several times. Alabama State opened the game with a run in the bottom of the first. Troy was able to answer that with two runs of their own, but the Hornets came back with five runs to take the lead 6-2. In the top of the third, Troy also scored five runs, which gave them a 7-6 lead, but Alabama State scored five runs in the bottom of that inning to shut down the Trojans. Logan Hill led the Trojans at the plate as he went 3-4 for four with one run. 
The Trojans will head to Lafayette, Louisiana to take on the Raging Cajuns with first pitch set for Friday at 6 p.m. The women's golf team hit the road to compete in Kiowa Island, South Carolina at the Kiowa Island Classic. The Trojans finished in seventh place in a pool of 40 teams. Fatima Fernandez Cano was a lowest score for Troy. She tied for 14th place with a 220. The overall team score was 911 as Troy shot 298 on day one, 300 on day two, and finished out day three with a 313. This seventh place finish marked the highest finish for the women's golf team in the spring season. The men's tennis team is currently 11-5 on the season and its top-notch performances have acquired them national recognition. The International Tennis Association has ranked the Troy men's tennis team at number 62 in the country. Troy has won six of its last seven matches and is currently 4-0 in conference play. The latest match for the Trojans was against a ranked opponent. South Alabama was number 47 in the country and Troy defeated the Jaguars 4-3. The ranking is the first for Troy in over four years when they were ranked at number 70 in 2011.